It's been over three years since we saw Conor McGregor in the octagon. The last time he fought was against Austin Poirier when he broke his leg. Now, it made sense that he took a break to heal. That's a very damaging career ending type injury. But slowly but surely, we started to feel like the celebrity and the fame and everything is getting to Conor's head. He might not be in the game. Which is understandable if you're one of the richest, wealthiest athletes. There's really no reason to have that hunger to keep fighting, even though a lot of boxers do it. But we finally know the reason why Conor McGregor hasn't fought in years and may never fight again. It's all in your conviction. It's going to jeopardize your fighting career now having conviction. Conor, are you ashamed of yourself? Any comment at all, Conor? Conor McGregor is in trouble right now. He is involved in a civil lawsuit where a woman has accused him of rape. The incident in question allegedly took place in a Dublin hotel in 2018. The woman claims that McGregor assaulted her after she declined to perform certain acts on him. She alleges that McGregor pinned her down to the bed despite her protest and assaulted her. She also mentioned that she was on her period at the time, which is part of the reason that she did not consent. The details of this encounter are after a Christmas party, McGregor picked up the woman and her friend in his car. They consumed the white powder during the journey to the hotel. At the hotel, McGregor allegedly invited the woman into a bedroom where the assault is said to have took place allegedly. There was physical evidence though the woman reported she had bruises on her wrist and a scratch on her breast, which her legal team claims result from the assault. As 35 year old hair colorist Nikita Nilovin, or Nikita Hand as she prefers, told the court today that she knew Conor McGregor as they had mutual friends. And she said she posted a photo on Instagram from her Christmas party on the night of the 8th of December 2018. And Mr. McGregor commented on it. And after she had been drinking for the night and after taking some coffee, okay. she contacted him early the next morning as she wanted to keep the party going and she said that he uh, came along with a driver to her salon and picked up her and her friend. They drove around for a while before picking up uh, his uh, friend James Lawrence and they went to the penthouse suite in the Beacon Hotel. The case for this whole trial has already started. Crazy allegations. Now, Conor McGregor has been accused of so many things so this isn't like something so out of the blue. But the details of this is pretty gnarly. I'm not even sure I can go that deep into it. But the second day of the trial already began and there were a lot of things said. First of all, the case is scheduled to be two weeks, so it's not going to take a while. Secondly, mind you, this is a civil case, not a criminal case. So there's not going to be any criminal charges or anything, no jail time or anything like that. It's a civil suit, which means... She's most likely going to be compensated depending on the result of this case, which is what the main outcome is, at least in most civil suits, that's how it is. But let's go into the things that have been mentioned. Nikita Hand, which is the victim's name, allegedly, um, she texts her partner that she was having a good time after she woke up confused the next day because she didn't want to worry him, you know, after the incident happened. Um, she also texts a friend that she was raped and black and blue and her tampon was stuck inside her and she said she wasn't going to press any charges. Now that is, that is absolutely crazy. And then she allegedly says she went home at first to her partner and her young child and spent some time in bed avoiding them. And then she went to her mother's home and her mother noticed she was hurt. She asked her mother to bring her to the A&E, which is pretty much an emergency care. She wanted to go to the A&E and get her tampon removed. So it was still inside her for a long amount of time, which is ridiculous. Crazy, crazy thing to imagine. Um, she then ended up getting an ambulance. And when she was in the hospital, she was asked loads of questions, but kept insisting that she didn't want to press any charges. She claimed she wanted to have a normal Christmas, so she didn't want to make any charges. Um, she's saying that this happened at the end of 2018. Mind you, there is some evidence to this that shows they were definitely in contact and they spent time together. But we're going to get into that later. Um, so she wanted to have a regular 2018 Christmas, so she didn't want to make a whole 
drama out of what had happened. But then she officially made her complaints in 2019, which was actually confirmed by the court. There was allegedly another man who claimed to have sex with her. So she included that in the report because she had no recollection of this as well. And the man's name is James Lawrence, who is supposed to be, I think, Conor McGregor's um, security. I, I think so. She reported to the director of public persecution and she was told there was not going to be any persecution made. She was devastated, obviously. So the reason they decided there wouldn't be any persecution is because they claimed there was insufficient evidence of the allegation and that this case pretty much fell into the category of having reasonable doubts. So most times persecutors don't take cases that they feel like they probably would lose. They only take cases where they're fully confident that there will be some type of persecution. So unfortunately, they had to deny her. Now, she alleged that she was treated differently because the accused, which is Conor McGregor, was a famous person. But the DPP denied that and said it was solely because there just wasn't strong evidence to her allegations. Like I said, there's some evidence that puts all this together. Not exactly what happened, but connects them spending time together, which was not denied by any party. Um, Conor McGregor and James Lawrence, they don't deny this woman. They acknowledge they know her and spend time together because obviously there's evidence about it. Let's get into what that evidence is. There's a CCTV video that shows footage of the car which McGregor used to pick up Nikita and her friend. Them getting into the car then a person who is described as James Lawrence, who, like I said, is supposed to be McGregor's security. Nikita and her friend getting into a lift, which the lift itself has footage in the car. There's also footage of James Lawrence, the security, going into a shop to purchase some condoms. Footage of that and then footage of the lift, like I said having those condoms in the car as well. There's footage of Nikita and James Lawrence getting in and out the elevator of the hotel and as well as getting a key card for the hotel room, which apparently she found difficult to watch during the trial because like she said, she had no recollection of this. I'm sure you're asking, how can she not have any recollection of this? So how can, how can she recollect what happened? Let's get into that. She did admit that she had taken nine bottles of beer, three Bacardis, and cocaine. Now, the lawyer questioning her was like, that's, that is a crazy amount of um, intoxication to be on, right? And she said, oh yeah, when she goes out, she likes to have a good time. That's her response to that. Also admitted to lying to her partner about hanging out with her friends and not going to a party with conor mcgregor because she didn't want him to get worried first of all um do i believe this woman i have no idea i have no idea we'll keep keeping track with what's going on in the court we're gonna stick to the evidence and the facts and everything but conor mcgregor is already known to be a wild wild man Obviously, Conor McGregor has a family at home at the time. This was six years ago and it's only been dragged up now. But the main thing is, it's the substances he is taking with these women. This guy was in between competing at the time. And many people are saying he has a bad addiction now and they can tell he's on certain things. And this clarifies it. Now, she alleged that Mr. McGregor said something inappropriate to her, but she tried to brush it off as she didn't want to make a big issue of it. But she claimed that he then kept coming on to her, trying to kiss her and rub her face. But she said she wasn't comfortable about this. And she told him that she knew about his partner as they too had mutual friends. And she said she was trying to talk him around because she really didn't want sex, but she didn't want to make things awkward. However, she claimed he wasn't taking no for an answer. And he pinned her down onto the bed, she said, and then put her, she put her arms up to defend herself. 
Tiger's legal representation has countered these allegations by stating that the encounter was consensual and that the woman is attempting extortion. They argue that she had multiple opportunities to report the incident. It was a group of them went back to that hotel to a penthouse suite in Beacon Hotel in Dublin and the court was told that they were drinking and laughing on good terms and at one point Mr McGregor, who has a wife at the time, went into the bedroom with the woman. She said that she was no physical match for him after she was pinned down. She would tell you that she was nervous and that she tried to push him off her but she was completely unable to do so, he added. You will see pictures of her hands and wrists which are black and blue and you will see that he left her breast with blooded scratch. The scratch is there because she was wearing a watch and had her hands up to protect herself. She was pressed down and the watch scarred her. It's interesting this is a civil case rather than criminal case because in civil cases they normally get money out of it rather than punishment of crime McGregor going to prison. This case is being heard in a high court in Dublin where McGregor has appeared for civil action. The judge has instructed the jury they have to determine the facts of the case and it's expected to last approximately two weeks. If you guys didn't know, Conor McGregor's actually had a separate charge in the US, but that one has been settled now. It said he was accused of sexual assault on a woman in a men's bathroom after the game between the Denver Nuggets and Miami Heat. According to reports, security personnel allegedly separated the woman from her friend and led her to McGregor, who was waiting inside the bathroom. The woman claims that McGregor forcibly kissed her and attempted to engage in certain acts, which she resisted, and she managed to escape by elbowing him, and she left her purse behind, which was reportedly withheld by Conor McGregor's Kiri. Yeah, um, like I said, not the first accusation of this kind. Um, sometime in 2024, some woman accused him of assaulting her in the bathroom. So he's always had this type of unhinged, um, unplanned outburst of violence. We all know the famous footage of McGregor punching the old man that didn't want to have his drink. <laughs> which was absolutely crazy. Um, the time he threw the trolley at the bus where Khabib and some other fighters were in the bus. Hey, go to jail. Don't you fuck and he actually got sued for that. I think Michael Chiesa was part of that as well, getting compensated for damages and injuries. What the fuck? You all right, Mike? Yeah. A whole bunch of things that McGregor has been involved with. So this doesn't really fall out of the realm. Am I saying he's guilty? Absolutely not. Like I said, my opinion is I have no idea. Just talking about something that I noticed mainstream media is really not talking about. So that's the main reason I, I brought this. Now, another thing is... The amount of times that she lies to her partner, which is just honestly disgusting, but I'm not judging her. Um, it's whatever. Everybody lies, but that's something you can't ignore. And of course, Conor McGregor himself is married. Just being involved in something like this is absolutely wild, but we all know that's Conor. He disrespects his wife. He has no regard for anything like that, so... It, it's really hard to defend him and at the same time you can't just say oh yeah he's guilty so it's it's a very interesting thing and now we finally know why conor mcgregor hasn't fought in so many years he was supposed to fight michael chandler after doing the ultimate fighter but we all saw his downward spiral and it was getting obvious that this man is not going to step into the octagon but now we know the absolute reason. Um, let me know what you guys think, man. Do you guys think it's obvious he did something like this? Is it out of the realm? Or do you guys think she is just trying to get some money? Because like I said, like the evidence is there. It's a civil suit. It's not a criminal suit. But then again, she did already report this um, a while back. And they denied her. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We'll keep up with this. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>